What's good, Deluxe family? Welcome back to the channel, man. In this video right here, we're going to be watching top 10 kids reacting to their life sentences. Alright, so courtroom freakouts and guilty crybabies. This is crazy. This is crazy because it's going to be like, probably, I don't know, it's probably going to be like 15-year-olds, 17-year-olds getting sentenced to life. Getting sentenced to life is like the worst, like one of the worst things that could probably happen to you. But at the end of the day, it does, you, most of the time, they do deserve it. Because they do some crazy, crazy shit. Make sure you like and subscribe, man. Let's get straight into it. Yo, what are we going through the top 10 kids reacting to life sentences? Prosecutors say he intentionally set a house. I said a nine-year-old. What the fuck? He said, how a nine-year-old set a house on fire? What the hell? How old are you now? 17, sir. And ever since, probably been a kid named Aiden. When he was 15 years old, he took a 20-year-old girl's life. He was obsessed. How do you even know how to set a house on fire while you're nine years old? What the fuck? Obsessed with this classmate of his, and it turns out that this 20-year-old girl was her sister. When he went to find this classmate, because he actually planned to, I believe, take her life instead, this 20-year-old girl got in the way, stopped it, but unfortunately lost her life instead. There never will be forgiveness. You took away a piece of my forever happiness. How old are you now? 17, sir. Aiden Von Grable. The crazy he, as hell. he stabbed and killed 20-year-old Michaela Grote, an aspiring race car driver mm. studying interior design. A straight-A student. A big sister to Nicole. But I know she was a bright, kind-hearted person who put others before herself. Thank you, Nicole was so old. She got one hell of an accent. Overcome with emotion, she had to run out of the courtroom. Over to tonight, we've got a teenager named Jesse Osborne. He was sentenced to life in prison after he took his own father's life, stole his truck, and then proceeded to drive it into an elm. He looked dumb as hell. Elementary school playground and then opened fire on kids and teachers. After all this went down, his father had lost his life as well as one of the students at this elementary school. And in the courts, when he was speaking to people and that kind of stuff, besides a lot of emotional moments, he actually did admit that he had some really serious problems. But unfortunately, after the disgusting thing that he did, it looks like the time has passed for that. A judge sentenced him to life for the two killings and 30 years for attempted murder. I don't exactly know why I did this, but... I just ask that you give me hope for our future and get me help because I do need help. The judge told Osborne he never imagined he'd be sitting in the courtroom addressing a teenager who faced life in prison for the horrific things he did at only 14 years old. Remember, this That's one tough. People, a woman named Tiffany Pierce That's and a guy named Augustus Standing Rock. And these two, they both were sentenced to life in prison after they took the lives of a 15 and 24 year old. Now, at this time, I think they were like in their early 20s. Um, the woman is 23, I think, in this video. But back when this all went down, she was like 20 or 21. Uh, but they took this 15 and 24 year old's life and then proceeded to try to dissolve their bodies in acid in their basement back in august of 2017 documents say after the killings they her. attempted to dissolve their bodies in tubs filled with chemicals in the basement of their strand avenue home i would like to offer my deepest and most sincere apologies and condolences i would also like shut to the fuck up my family and friends not only shut the up pain and embarrassment and the shock i've caused but also for the burden that I've become. Uh, she was literally reading off a piece of paper. Apologize. There's nothing I can say or do. I'll he don't really give a shit. Back. He already accepted I his face. Twitter suspended me for doing absolutely nothing wrong. For talking about some doctors. Shut up. In number seven spot, this one is really messed up. We've got a nine-year-old boy charged with five murders. He's, I believe, the youngest kid on this list. Damn, uh, bro. By far and away. And what he did was pretty crazy. This boy, he does have a history of some mental illness. I believe he is diagnosed with schizophrenia, so that does explain at least some portion of it to some people. But this kid was in court, and... He had taken five of his family members' lives. They were living in a group together, like some aunts, uncles, things like that. And he ended up taking a two-year-old, one-year-old, two-year-old again, and a 69- and 34-year-old's lives in this house when he set it on fire. And basically, you know, arson. In court, in fact, he was so young that they had to explain certain words to him, including, like, residents, alleged, and arson. He didn't even know it. <laughs> Yo, that's Our crazy, bro. with five counts of first-degree murder and multiple counts of arson. 
Prosecutors say he intentionally set a house on fire, which led to the deaths of five people. Kyle said through his lawyer that he didn't understand some of the terms being used. Alleged had to be described to him as when someone accuses you of something. Arson had to be explained as when you intentionally set fire and damage something. And Kyle didn't know what the word residence meant either. He is accused of intentionally setting fire to his home back in April, which led to the deaths of... How did he even figure out he intentionally did it? Waiting outside of school for a ride That's home. the thing. The story behind this was there was another boy who was in a gang, and apparently he got into a dispute with some other kid and was waiting outside of school for this kid to show up so that he could, you know, shoot him. And that's what he did. And basically when he did it, it was about he missed shit. him. And the bullet went past and actually hit this other kid, like I said, who was waiting for a ride home to school, just standing Damn, there minding his own business. And... He lost his life because of it. Now, the boy who fired the shot is now in court, and he's facing life in prison plus 10 years on top of that. It was really sad to see, too, as his family was in court crying, crying. And I think the mother, in fact, had to leave the courtroom because it was just too much for her. Family members of the victim, 15-year-old William Parsons, were in court for the sentencing wearing matching T-shirts saying, Rest in Paradise. The family cried as Parsons' accused killer faced a judge. Just days after he was charged as an adult for the murder, Joel Luarca admitted to this shooting kid? and killing Parsons, a Central High School student. The Attorney General's office says Luarca was sentenced to life plus 10 years with the possibility of parole. During a fight outside of how the... Do I, how do you say life plus 10 years? I say it, that's like saying infinity and some. ...academy last September. Prosecutors say Luarca fired a shot that hit Parsons, who was not the intended target. Number five, this is pretty disgusting. We've got a guy who is going home from church, and it was on Christmas Eve, too. He was going home, in fact, to open up presents with his kids and wife. And before he got home, as he was leaving the church, he was actually carjacked, and his life was taken by this 18-year-old. This clip, though, kind of pertains to a moment in court oh. where during witness testimony, when people were you know, testifying against him and he possibly saw it. The hell is he crying for? You were able to carjack a car and kill the dude inside. Why are you now crying, bro? Saying some stuff really quietly and it was not pleasant stuff either. Uh, the judge took notice of this and basically chewed him out on the spot. It appeared that they were not pleasant words and his facial expressions were angry and they were, it appeared to me to be um, uh, very menacing. Uh, take a look. This is 18-year-old Darnell Young and 33-year-old Charles Cox, both in jailhouse in jumpsuits and listening to witness testimony during their preliminary hearing. Now, police say the two carjacked and killed musician Anthony Tolson Christmas Eve outside of a party store in Detroit. In the fourth spot, it actually blows so wrong with my that mind. Kid. There are some people out there that are this crazy. Apparently this kid, he's a teenager, he got into an argument on Instagram. That's what this all stemmed off of. This kid <laughs> got so mad, he went to this house that the person he was arguing with uh, lives at and shot at the house 31 times. 31 times it was fired at. And uh, he didn't get the guy that he wanted, but the six-year-old boy inside of the house was the one who got hit the and he passed away tragically from it. Police say 31 How? shots were fired Why six -year -old? last year. Six-year-old Zamari Mitchell was killed. He was playing in the living room when he was shot. The shooting stemming from... Yeah, I need to watch, like, a Try Not to Laugh video or something, because this Ooh, thing this is, is too crazy. deep. You've got a twist on this one, too, because this kid who is facing life in prison, he actually escaped from prison at only 13 years old. He was actually on his... <laughs> got to give him respect for that one. On court <laughs> got to. Doing some sentencing type of stuff. Some stuff was going on, and... He managed to run out and get away from the guards, and he's a fugitive now. They're trying to catch him, and it's just crazy. North Carolina authorities tonight have helicopters in the air and police on the ground, all searching for the fugitive 13-year-old who, for now, are only <laughs> identifying as That's Jericho different. W. Even though he's a juvenile, they're taking the unusual step of releasing his booking photo after he escaped from the custody of state law enforcement officers Tuesday while returning from juvenile court in Lumberton. State officials say he was wearing different. leg restraints and no shoes when a guard opened a door and he ran. Number two, we've got a 15-year-old kid, at least he was 15 years old at the time this happened, who took a brother and sister's lives. Uh, they were both at home. I'm about to shut this shit off, bro. This is too much. A robbery situation type of thing, but 
Uh, he took both of their lives, and uh, I guess the mom of these two siblings ended up agreeing with the prosecutors or whatever that a 45-year-old plea agreement was the way to go instead of a full-on life sentence. So what a life sentence. Alright, man, if you did watch this point of the video, make sure you do like and subscribe. This shit is crazy, and like, I didn't know it was gonna be like this. This crazy, you know what I'm saying? I thought we were gonna be watching the reactions, like them crying or yelling and stuff like that. It's basically just giving like the story behind why they're getting life sentences. But if you did watch this point of the video, make sure you do like and subscribe. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. The same way, you'll catch me in the next one. Peace.